Drag the custom button element to your page, and by default, your button will inherit its style from your website theme. We can choose from among several sizes, from extra small all the way to extra large. You can add rounded corners by clicking the minus or plus icons, or you can simply enter a value. You can make your text uppercase or leave it as is. We can change the button colors starting with the background color. And we can change the text color. I like it white. We can also change the border color. Now I've selected a color, but we don't see it until we give the border a size. Once again, there are plus and minus icons, and we can enter a value. We can also choose from different border styles, solid, dotted, dashed, and double. I'll go for dotted. Lastly, we can change rollover colors. Let's give it a different color. I'll do red for the rollover color, and I'll make the text yellow. And the border color, let's choose something different. So at this point, I have the button looking like I want it to. Now let's change the button text, alignment, and link. If I click on the button once, I get the style controls that we just changed. If I click on it a second time, we get the native Weebly settings where we can change the button text, the style, alignment, and links. So let's change the text. And by the way, in order for your button to appear on the front end of your, of your website, you actually have to change the button text. If you leave it the default, then it won't show up on the front end of your website when you publish it. There is an option for button style, but you'll see it's inherited the styles that we created already, and so I, we don't recommend using this because you'll get unpredictable results. So if you need to change the style, use the style settings as showed at the beginning of this video. We can change the alignment, I'll center it, and lastly we can give it a link. And finally, to change the font of your button, go to the Theme tab, Change Fonts, and click on Buttons. We chose to use the native Weebly font controls, so you can choose your font here. And that's all you need to know to create a custom button.